Hey guys, today's a very exciting day. I've been talking about getting a second car for the channel for a long time now. I haven't had her in my videos recently, but my girlfriend Vivian is, uh, she's also into cars. And she likes to go fast and she's awesome. So, we worked out a plan. We are going to get her a car, um, you know, a quick car, sports car, whatever you want to call it. And then she, and then we're going to sell her Dodge Challenger. And I'm going to be able to make content on two sports cars. So I'm going to test drive a 2009 Mazda Speed 3. And I'm going to show you guys the test drive. I'm pulling up to the dealership right now. I'm going to Sierra Auto Sales in Auburn, California. Okay. So there it is. And there's also a, oh, it's also a 2006 Mustang GT. Anyway, let's go look at it. All right, guys, so here it is. It is, uh, it's not the cleanest thing you'll ever see. You know, let's look under the bottom. Okay, so we definitely have some scraping. I wonder if this car was ever lowered or if the drivers just really didn't care all that much about it. It hasn't moved for a while. It has some uh, cobwebs right there. It looks to be the stock exhaust. I don't see any of these bolts under here having been uh, messed with, so. Stock intercooler. Yeah, everything is definitely stock. Yeah, there's a lot of scratches on the car. The rear bumpers uh, seen much better days, I think. Oh, we didn't, uh, we didn't you didn't do anything to it? Yeah, we got it. We got it that clean. Okay, okay. All right. All righty. I think the owner of this car was probably into a lot of sports and stuff like that. Yeah. So back in 2010, so this car is uh, originally from Texas. Back in 2010, according to the Carfax. It did have some damage, moderate damage to the front, no frame damage. I mean, geez, that was 10 years ago, so it's really hard to tell uh, what the deal is now. I'm, okay, well, we're gonna have to get in the car and test it out and see how it drives before I can really make a full uh, like evaluation of it. I'm gonna check the oil real quick before we go. I think it's low on oil. What is it? It's a little low on oil. Is it? Yeah. Uh, okay, so immediate impressions before I go drive it. <sighs> car's, car's pretty banged up. What scares me right off the bat is that the oil is very dirty. Go ahead. Are you gonna come with? Just drive it. Okay, cool. Let me bring you a license plate. Yeah, this would definitely need uh, an intense paint correction. Okay. Let's do this, man. Mazda Speed 3, 2009. 263 horsepower. Okay. Steering is uh, a little heavy. Okay, there definitely is no rev hang on this. So you gotta shift quickly. I would definitely have to work with Vivian on that if we got it. Okay, the engine does feel good. It feels strong. You know what? I just passed Vivian's work. I think on the way back, I'm gonna go show it to her. So the clutch is very, it's a very short uh, throw. Is that what they call it, throw? Very short clutch throw. Let's check this, see if the AC works. Okay. So, yeah. It's definitely a lot more rough than my car. <laughs> 2009 though. I'm noticing just because of the um, the bigger engine like the more displacement I'm noticing that it has a lot more like natural torque before you even get into the boost Okay, and we have a little third gear lockout 
pulling the clutch out of first to go into second, it's very rough. Looks like we have a red line of about 66, 6700 RPM. Uh, the AC does work, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut the AC off. I'm hearing some squeaks. Okay, this car definitely has a lot more natural power than mine. pretty well okay let's not get in trouble here so uh, the torque steer is no joke with this car I definitely felt torque steer I was holding onto it right here and you could see I'll replay it right here but you can see the wheel it was uh, going back and forth a little bit I'm gonna have to turn around I do just want to take this on the highway real quick I hear something I don't know what that noise is. I hope it's not the suspension. Oh, I pushed down and to the left for reverse. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. It's gonna be rough that radio off okay easy easy buddy easy okay there we go yeah first the second is rough I'm not sure what that's all about it's definitely some squeaks and rattles and there's a thumping noise in the back I'll tell you right now, I don't think Vivian's gonna like this. But I kinda like it. I like it because it's, it feels raw, you know? It, it feels like it does need work. I mean, let's go on the highway. Okay. wind noise when you have the windows down which you know makes sense but just a little more than usual is what I'm trying to say I think Vivian would appreciate the power that this has uh, it does feel pretty strong I, I, I wouldn't say that this okay it turns nicely I wouldn't say that it um, feels stronger than my car but let's go ahead and do a poll right now definitely falls off at 6,000 RPM. So I'm gonna have to go back and do some research and see if that is supposed to happen. I'm gonna have to look at the dyno charts and look into the, uh, the forums for this car and make sure that it is supposed to be like that. It is gonna need new tires as well. Let's put the AC back on. Yeah, man, I don't know. I really wanted this car to... Yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure what I think about it right now. I feel like the price is definitely too high. Yeah, dude, every single time I pull the clutch out of first to go into second, it's really rough. Let's take this turn right here. gonna give it moderate acceleration. Shit. It gets out of its own way, man. You can absolutely 
definitely feel the difference from a 2.3 liter turbocharged engine to a 1.5. I will say that. Yeah, the steering is a little sketchy. So just on that turn right there, I'm going about 77 miles an hour. On that turn, it was kind of teeter-tottering. And I really don't want Vivian to be driving a car like that on the highway. So I'd have to, I'd have to do more research and figure out uh, what that's all about. This is not something that I'm going to impulsively purchase. Okay, I got that shift down better. This car was made for an enthusiast. 100%. Here's a car. Now, I can talk to you later about how it drives. It's, 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 it's not the most comfortable thing. It's not perfect. Um, I will say the price is definitely too high for how it feels and drives. Mm -hmm. um, Are they willing to negotiate? I haven't got that far yet, but uh, I, I don't know, babe. Do you want to try to just drive around the parking lot? Okay. What's that? I'm like, it's temporary. It's temporary. Well, I don't want to get you a, a piece of crap, babe. It definitely feels like it needs work. Like immediately, it would need new tires and it would need a very serious uh, paint correction. Mm -hmm. The paint is very rough. There's a lot of scratches. That, they have a roof rack. So I, like I think, that. I think whoever, yeah, I think whoever was using it was like probably using it to go to Tahoe and stuff like that. I mean, it's okay. Okay. I'll go bring it back and I'll, s I'll ask him about price. And then, we're, you know, we're obviously not gonna make a purchase today. Yeah. But uh, I'll talk. To, uh, I'll show you the video later how it drives because I recorded all of it. Okay. And then we can talk about it. It's not the worst. It's not the best. <sighs> okay. So first of all, the price is too high for the condition of the car. It has thumb size dents on almost all the body panels, including the hood, which is the worst one. That one um, gets all the way through the paint. Uh, primer and everything and that's gonna start rusting the rear bumper is also scratched up like it's it's too scratched up uh, I, I don't think the people who own the cars really took care of it you know just it just it looks like it was neglected so the whole entire like the paint the paint of the car is is atrocious uh, number two I do appreciate finding cars that are completely stock, but for a car like this with the top mount intercooler, that means like extreme heat soak. This car spent its first nine years in Texas. I lived in Texas for a while in 2017 and it was, <laughs> it was, it would definitely uh, get up over hundred degrees quite often. So I am not sure how I feel about buying a car that has gone through that much heat soak throughout its life, you know, on top of having dirty oil and all that type of stuff. The thing that scares me the most is that the oil was dirty and it was low. Number three, I think the squeaking was coming from the inside, but the thumping noise, I don't know if you guys could hear that, the thumping sounded like it could have been suspension related. And since I'm such a noob when it comes to like working on cars, that scares me because like when you don't even know what it is, uh, I, I, I don't even know where to start. So after sitting on it overnight and talking to Vivian about it, we are not going to go with this car. Just not what we're looking for at this time. But I do want to thank Sierra Auto Sales in Auburn, California. They were really nice guys. You know, they let me test drive the car by myself and let me film it. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Definitely the most comfortable experience I've ever had with a car dealership. Thank you to Sierra Auto Sales. Never know, maybe if they get a car in that uh, suits our needs and wants, then uh, I'll head back. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.